I'm Lynette, and thank you for watching this week's video on mushrooms. Actually, this is a part two on mushrooms. I talked about it last week, but I wanted to talk about a few other different mushrooms that I didn't talk about last time. So if you missed that video, I'm going to put a link in the description box below so you can find it more easily. And I'll also have links to different clinical studies, research, and articles if you want to look into mushrooms a little bit more. And while you're down there, you should definitely subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the other supplement and health topics I talk about. And while you're down there, definitely like all the videos. One of the mushrooms I want to talk about is called the oyster mushroom. It gets its name because of the smooth oyster-like texture to the mushroom and also because it's said to have a hint of seafood flavor to it. But I think it's just a mild flavor. And what I find super interesting about it is it's the easiest mushroom to be able to grow. It's easy because they grow super fast and also they grow in almost any environment, so they're hard to mess up. In nature, they grow usually on fallen logs or rotted trees. They'll just grow on that. If you were to grow them in your house, you can get like these plastic bags and get straw and then the spores and you can grow them that way. But nowadays they have these little kits so you can just buy the kit all already prepared and just grow your own mushrooms at home. I'm going to put a link to a how-to video if you're going to try it on your own and also a link to get different kinds of kits. So if you want to get a kit, you'll have to decide what color mushroom you want because oyster mushrooms don't just come in white. They come in brown, blue, yellow, pink. So you'll have to decide that if you want to make your own mushrooms at home. So the oyster mushroom, just like many other mushrooms, they are a great antioxidant. They're packed full of nutrients like fiber, vitamins, minerals. They're great to control your blood glucose and boost your immune system, lower your cholesterol, make it less likely to get diseases or tumors. But there's always these studies on this specific mushroom. So I read this new study in 2021, and they were trying to see how the bacteria grows in rats in their like gut and they found that if you ate the oyster mushrooms it actually reduced the amount of harmful bacteria growing in your body which is great and last year they did another study showing how great it is as an anti-inflammatory there's another type of oyster mushroom that's very different it's called the king oyster mushroom it goes by a few other names like the french horn mushroom or the king trumpet mushroom. It's very different because unlike the oyster mushrooms that grow in clusters, these grow all by themselves and they look super different. They have like a thick meaty stem and they have like a brown tan top. And like the portobello mushroom, it's very high in protein, so it makes a great addition to any vegetarian diet. Some of the benefits are the same as the other oyster mushrooms. There have been some specific clinical studies showing that it reduces inflammation in the colon and also reduction in cholesterol. The next mushroom is the shiitake mushroom. This is one of the most popular mushrooms because they're really delicious and have like a savory flavor. They're similar to what you would think of a mushroom. They have a short stem, they have a big top, they're tan and white, but this is a shiitake mushroom. And there's tons of recipes with shiitake mushrooms. So if you want to look them up, they're great. You can eat them in soups and sautés. You can throw them in salads. They taste great in any way. So that's why they're just so popular. And like all the other mushrooms, they're packed full of nutrients. Actually, shiitakes are super high in vitamin D and also in beta-glucan, which is great for cholesterol. There have been a lot of clinical studies showing that um, the shiitake mushroom might be an aid to prevent cancer. So that's also really great. And of course, it boosts your immune system. The next mushroom is called the enoki mushroom. They look like this. I think they look kind of like a Q-tip. It's a long white stem and a small white top. And they're used a lot in cooking because it has a mild savory flavor and they put them in soups, make a saute. They kind of look like pasta when they get sauteed and you can actually fry them as well. They make for a great nutritious appetizer because they get nice and crispy with that mild savory flavor. They are packed full of B vitamins and they also have all the other benefits like immune boosting and all that, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. So it's a really interesting mushroom and I just wanted to share that with you. 
The last mushroom I want to talk about is called the psilocybin mushroom. It's actually also named the magic mushroom because it is a psychedelic mushroom. And it has a very thin stem and a cone-like top. And these mushrooms are actually federally illegal. But there has been a push in the United States to decriminalize the use of psilocybin mushrooms because it's been widely used as a microdosing mushroom. So cities like Denver, Colorado, Santa Cruz, Oakland, California, Cambridge, Massachusetts, they've already took steps to decriminalize psilocybin mushroom for the use of microdosing. And there's other cities and states trying to do the same. But these mushrooms are known to help with anxiety and depression, and that's why people do the microdosing. I know that's been a really popular topic, microdosing, so that, this is the mushroom they use to do that. These are all the mushrooms I found really interesting and nutritious for your health. Don't forget that I've made a part one to this video. I'll put a link in the description box below so it makes it easy for you to find. And you can catch up on all the different mushrooms I talked about last week. And if you have a mushroom that I missed, definitely add it to the comments below. I would love to hear about it. And I would love to hear how you incorporate mushrooms in your daily diet. We can all use some new tips. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the other health and wellness topics. But for today, that's it from me, The Vitamin Chica.